Kristen and it is time for some Mascara Madness. If you are new to Mascara Madness, once a quarter I go through and talk about the mascaras that I've used for the past three months. It is my choice to use a mascara, or have it open I should say, for three months and then toss it and so this is a good way for me to kind of keep on that schedule. Normally if I wasn't doing YouTube I wouldn't have as many mascaras open at one time but because I do YouTube I like to talk about more than one mascara and um, some of them I've said before life's too short to live through a bad mascara so if I have, if I try one and it doesn't work for me it just kind of goes to the side and and that's the way it is so that's why I have so many all right having said all of that all disclaimers out of the way let's go ahead and get started with my third quarter mascara madness so the first one that I have to talk about is actually a drugstore mascara I think I only have one drugs no I have two drugstore this time one anyway so this is the voluminous Laura voluminous miss manga I believe is how you say it and this is the wand on that and I'm sure most of you have seen it, but it's a, it's a really kind of flexible wand. And the bristles are kind of a natural bristle. I actually really liked this mascara for about a month. It it did well at separating out my lashes. I felt like I build, was able to build volume. Um, I, I don't like that really clumpy, clumpy, you know, like they show in the and the advertisements for this. I don't love that sort of look. I like a full voluminous lash, but not clumpy. So this one, I think if I had continued to build up beyond two coats, I maybe would have gotten to what it showed in the advertisement. But here's the kicker, though. After about a month, this would flake like a crazy person. It didn't do that originally, but after about a month, every time I wore it, I had tons of flakes down on my um, cheekbone area here, right here. <laughs> And I did not appreciate that so much. So this was a good mascara. I just didn't find like it find that it lasted very well. But I I don't know if I would repurchase it again. I even for a drugstore price, I can get longer than a month out of some of my other drugstore mascaras that I like. So at any rate. The next one that I want to talk about is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. So this is the one, it's kind of in a darker green. Clinique has a ton of mascaras. This isn't like a darker green. Um, container looks like that nothing too per too particularly special about the brush Whew, it's too early to be talking like that and um, I like this now understand this I have a little bit of a natural curl in my lashes so um, this I, be I believe one of the claims for this is that it will curl your lashes I did feel like the way the brush and the and the formula worked together it did give my lashes a little bit of a curl um, even more so than they already have and it built it built up some nice volume it stayed very well it didn't transfer into my brow bone which is shocking to me I was fully prepared for this to to transfer to my brow bone so I really like it. my only issue is that I couldn't build it up just quite as much as I wanted to but for really good everyday mascara um, I really I liked this one a lot it was I was a big fan of that okay the next one that I want to talk about is the mascara from Camp Cosmetics and this is the brush on it I love how this one feels it this feels like Giorgio Armani um, eyes to kill in my hand it has that kind of can you hear that that kind of weight to it where these ones have you know your normal kind of plastic -y. I forgot to mention those ones I try to remember to talk about packaging too so this mascara is a really really nice everyday mascara I feel like um, it it separates out the lashes and you can tell by the kind of by the brush that it's going to separate but not necessarily grab every single lash like the brush in say lights camera lashes does if I could come if I could stick that brush the lights camera lashes into this I would I would love this even more but what I like about this is that it lasts all day long it doesn't transfer at all upper or lower and um, it doesn't like disappear on me like some mascaras I've talked about before it's there and it looks great and then you know a few hours later it disappears this does not do that um, and it just it just lasts a really long time it's a really nice everyday mascara um, and I know that a lot of you have gotten this as well so um, I'm curious if you let me know below what you thought about this if you have tried it I know that you've gotten it but I'm just curious um, if you've broken it open yet or not all right 
Um, let's talk about one that I have from an international mascara. <clears throat> Excuse me, and this is from Catrice. It's called Better Than False Lashes Mascara. This one I did not like. Um, here's the brush, and that you can probably tell. See how ginormous that brush is? I mean, good gravy. <laughs> so I find when brushes are this big, you can't really separate out your lashes and really get it in there to catch any of the lashes. And this one for me, this says triple volume brush on it. It did. And it says it's for extreme lash volume, ultimate length, and deepest black. Um, yeah, I just, it just didn't work for me. It transferred very, very quickly up underneath my brow bone. So not my, not my favorite mascara. I have two more. One was a sample size, and this is from Dolce & Gabbana, and it's the Passion Eyes. There's the brush on it. So it's a plastic brush with kind of that funky little shape on it. This did the same thing, uh, like I, I mentioned. Um, I think I mentioned in this, anyway. As the, D, uh, not the Dior, the Guerlain Maxi Lash, where I put it on, it's beautiful, and then in a couple of hours, it's just disappeared off the tips of my, it hasn't transferred, but it disappears off the tips of my eyelashes. Very strange. Didn't like this at all. Only tried it a few times and decided I was done with it. Life's too short, my friends. And then this mascara really surprised me. I was completely set to dislike this mascara before I even tried it. And it's the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition. It looks like that. And here's the brush. This is why I thought for sure I wouldn't like it. So it's a plastic brush and I just don't usually like those. Um, but this, you can build up some really nice lashes with this mascara. Um, and this is the same, it's a little bit of a heavier sort of packaging. Not quite drugstore, but not, you know, as heavy or as nice as the Camp One or like the Armani Eyes to Kill. Um, but <clears throat> this really does, that brush allows you to separate it out and um, lifts, it, it lifts your lashes as well. I really, I'm, I'm impressed with this. I would, this one I would repurchase again. So of all of these, um, I would definitely repurchase the, the Clinique again. I would absolutely repurchase the Camp Cosmetics again, and I would repurchase this Flawless Definition again. Um, I just really was, I really was impressed. And I was surprised this month, normally I have at least half of them that, you know, transfer into my brow bone and I'm just over it. <laughs> So I, I don't know if, if they're getting better or my eyelids are changing or I don't know. <laughs> but I think the, I think the, the really only, um, you know, full on fail was these two. And like I said, this, the Miss Manga was nice off the bat. It just really flaked like a whole lot, like it flaked a whole lot. So at any rate, I hope that you enjoyed Mascara Madness for third quarter. I will tell you quickly what is on my face today. On my eyelids is the MAC pigment in gold mode, which I'll try to show you here without making a big honking mess. Looks like that. And then I transitioned that out with um, Arena from MAC, which looks like this right here. And then I used Shadowy Lady on the outer corner just to deepen things up. I kind of wanted that plummy purple sort of color. I have Shadowy Lady and Shadowy Lady underneath my lower lash line as well for liner today. Um, and my lower lash line, I just have the Avon Super Shock in black. Upper lash line, I have the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in Plum Tanzanite, which I still haven't hauled yet this weekend. I'm hoping to have a haul up this weekend for you guys. And then on my lips, I have Max Lip Liner in Spice. And then for, bl no, this is not blush, this is lipstick. For lipstick, I have Max Kinda Sexy. And for blush today, I have the Benefit Rocketeur blush, which as you guys know, is one of my favorites. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will have everything linked below for you um, and more information below if you need that. And I think that is about it. I hope that you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.